Hey guys, Josh here. Thanks for coming by. Today, um, I want to start um, by putting my first vlog out there as I, I begin the this channel and talking about how to be a Christian in the modern day society. This is, I guess, more geared towards people of my generation. I'm me being 24 years old, so my generation and and the new coming generation. Now, not to say that the the people who may be a little bit more older can't take anything out of this. But it does apply more so to us who were raised in this generation. For you may not know, I was homeschooled. Uh, so I grew up in the church. I grew up at home. I had no experience with really anyone in the outside world who wasn't a Christian. So I was allowed to be, how should I put it, expressive with my beliefs. Expressive. I was a worship leader from a very early age. I was, that's how I was raised. But I left for the military and I got I lost contact with with God for a while. I didn't touch worship music for five years. And then I started college after I came back from a deployment. It was it was a sense of normalcy to me at that point. Now what I'm talking about is when I left the military, I, I kind of put God in a box. I put him in a shoe box and I put him in the back of my closet. I was like, hey God, I'm going to have to go and do this for a while. I'll come back to you. I put him and I put everything I'd gone through those years. I put my worship in there. I put my prayers in there. I put him in there. In that box. Put it away for five years. Alright. And when I came back home and I went to college, it was a normalcy. I was used to not having God there. I was used to being on that shelf. I didn't want to go put him back out because I was used to being that way. So when I got to college and I got experience with people who weren't like what I was used to when I was like, when I was a child, people who weren't raised in the church, people who actually had opposing views to myself, I was quiet. I was unopposed. I just kind of sat there was like, you know what? That's cool, man. Your beliefs, your beliefs, my beliefs, my beliefs. I'll let you speak your beliefs. I'm not going to say anything about my beliefs and we'll be calm. Now, looking back at that, what kind of mentality is that to have? You can say your belief. It's cool. I don't care. But I can't say my belief. I mean, when I'm fine, when the world is fine, the world is fine with everyone, everyone saying what they believe and protesting against us. But we're not allowed to say a single thing. As, long, as soon as we say something, people explode, saying we're intolerant, we're unaccepting. We're accepting. We, I'm accepting. I love everyone. I'm just kind of tired for the fact that we're, as Christians, not allowed to say our beliefs because it's become something that people despise. I don't know. I don't understand why that is. So I started to think about that. And what I, what I believe is that our generation as a whole, as a whole, has a whole, <laughs> that makes any sense. Our generation as a whole has a hole right here to be filled. Our country, I'll, 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 I'll put this in perspective of the United States because I can't speak for any of the political affairs and, as such for other countries. But as this country as the United States, we started separating from God. We took God out of the schools. We took God out of the hospitals. We took God out of the public buildings. We took God out of everywhere. We, we started taking things out. Us as human beings have a reason of existence. We have a passion. And it's always been something that was filled by God. It was given to us so that we'd go forth, we'd proclaim the gospel, proclaim his name, bring other people to Christ. That was the passion. Our passion was to serve. Our passion was to be with God. But just like how I took God out of my life, put it in that shoebox, put it in the closet, put it there for five years, became complacent, didn't care, went on with my life, and, and it just seemed normal. The same thing has happened with our country. We've taken God out. We've put him in a closet. We're saying, we don't need God here. He can go back there. And it's become something that the country's used to. And now the people are growing, the kids are growing up with that. And there's a hole. There's that. There's that belief, that longing to do something. There's that longing to be a part of something greater that they can't fill because we allowed them to take God out of the out of everything. 
So they fill it with whatever they can. They fill it with, with, with drugs. They fill it with alcohol. They fill it with smoking. They fill it with anything they can. And the devil has used this. He has used this to take over the hearts and the minds of our generation. Because I know people have preached this in the past. But whatever you let go into your eyes, whatever you let go into your ears, gets into your head, stays in your heart, and comes out through your mouth. And that is a fact. And it happens. You may not realize it. It may be such a slight thing that happens over time that you don't doesn't quite click in your mind, but to those around you it will. It does. And the reverse, the reverse. People will notice. They will notice if you start changing just a little bit. They'll notice, like, what does that person have? I spent my entire life trying to find purpose, and I thought I had purpose. I thought if I did this, if I fought for this thing right here, that I would finally find a meaning to my life, and I'd feel fulfilled. Why is this person over here going after this God, this, this Jesus Christ person, who I've always thought was, was a fake, but he looks so much more fulfilled, so happy in his life. Why can't I have that? Here's what I say for this, for this video. How to deal with the people around you. Be that light. Be fulfilled. People will see. People will hear. They will notice that you're walking in Christ. They will notice. And when it gets in their ears, gets, in, gets through their eyes, gets in their head, it'll make it to their heart. And that's, that's where God moves. He moves right there. He fills the hole in their heart. All right. That's, that's what I had to say today. Uh, I have so much to say on the young adults, youth of our generation, taking back our generation. That is the call that I wish to make. If God gave me one thing for this world, one thing, it would be to try and take back our generation. It's a passion I've had for many years. And as someone who's, who's just recently grabbed God back off that shelf, opened that box and put him back, it's something that has been gone for so long that f just feels so right. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy. hope you guys think about what I've said. And I hope you, hope you, hope you learn something. If you agree that's that's fine i'm that's fantastic i hope you go out there and, and live it but if you disagree feel, please feel free uh in my videos i'm sorry this is gonna be a long video because this is a vlog number one and also sort of an introduction to whom i am as myself i'll be posting some vlogs talking about subjects some of them normal subjects that people may just need encouragement they may need to know that someone has their back that someone believes the same thing that they do because as humans we, we are constantly in a state of, of, of wonder and a state of doubt that if we, only, if we feel like we're the only ones who believe it, then maybe something's wrong. But if you know that someone else shares the same belief as you, then it, then it strengthens you. We have to have support for each other as brothers and sisters in Christ. Went into preaching mode, forgot where I was. Anyways, oh yes, I'll be talking about different things. Um, some things maybe it'll be becoming more controversial. Now, I'm, I apologize in, in, in advance, but we live in a time of controversy. So I have to talk about the controversy. You may not agree with it. You may agree with it. That's fine with me. I would love to talk to you guys about it in the comments below, but please be respectful. I don't care if you're a Christian, if you're an atheist, if you're a Buddhist. I don't care. But please be respectful of each other. If I see people acting out harshly in the comments, I will not hesitate to take action. All right? Anyways. God bless. I hope you guys have a great one. I hope you learned something. I'm not going to play myself as being an amazing teacher, but um, I just want to share what's in my heart that, that God's put in here, out to here, and out to you guys. So, hope you guys have a great one. See ya!